Question 1. In triangle PQR, this is your triangle PQR having three sides. D is the midpoint of line segment QR. It is given to you that D is the midpoint of this line segment QR. Now, based upon that, we have to answer following questions. Line segment PM is what? PD is what? Is QM equals to MR? Prior solving these blanks, let us first revisit the concepts. So this is your triangle. It has three sides. Namely, in this case, AB, BC and AC. So these are sides. These are called vertex, where two lines meet. So a triangle has three vertex. Namely, A, B and C. And it has three angles as well. Namely, angle A, angle B or angle C. So this is all you have learnt in your previous class. New concepts in this class are two. First is median, second one is altitude of a triangle. Altitude is nothing but just height of a triangle. As you have height, similarly a triangle has also a height. So let's go into depth. So what is a median? A median is a segment. Again, it is a segment. Segment is represented by this line over alphabets. So a median is a segment from a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side. So how to construct a median? First of all, you take any side. As we have taken this side in this example, it is the midpoint. You know how to draw a midpoint on a line. You have learned it in your geometrical ideas chapter. Now, when you found the midpoint, you join that with the opposite vertex. This is opposite vertex. A triangle can have three medians. One connecting this vertex, second connecting this vertex to the center of this line segment. Third is third median is connecting this vertex to the middle of this side. So that was all about median. Now what is an altitude of a triangle? Altitude is height. An altitude of a triangle is a perpendicular segment. Perpendicular is 90 degrees from the vertex to the side opposite. The altitude can be inside or outside even the legs of a right triangle. This statement means that an altitude is a perpendicular line segment for the shortest path from any vertex towards opposite side. So what are opposite sides? If this is a vertex, this will be its opposite side. That is the side facing this angle. Similarly for this, BC will be opposite side and for vertex C, AB is termed as opposite side. So that was all about altitude and median. Another important thing to be noted here is that median will always lie inside a triangle whereas altitude of a triangle can lie inside or outside. And what is inside and outside? Inside means those points like these which lie inside the boundaries of a triangle and outside these points. So an altitude can lie inside or outside of a triangle. So with this Let's solve these. PM is here, line segment PM. This is what? Since it is 90 degrees, you can see here. And it is drawn from vertex P towards opposite side. So it is an altitude. Because altitude says it is a perpendicular segment. Important thing is it must be perpendicular. Now, what is your PD? Point of this line segment QR or this side QR. That is QD is equal to DR. And now this center point is joining opposite vertex that is P. Therefore it is a median. That is what this definition talks about. A median, a line segment from vertex of a triangle to the midpoint. In this important thing is midpoint. That's why the name was brought up as median. You can also learn it median as middle. Is QM equals to MR? Well, we can see here, QM, the question asks whether QM equals MR. Well, clearly, it is not because QD is equal to DR. This is the center point. This is not the center point. It is lying toward Q. Therefore, QM is shorter or less than MR. So, the answer is no. That is your first question. Question number second. Draw rough sketches for the following. A. 
in triangle ABC, BE is a median. B. In triangle PQR, PQ and PR are altitudes of the triangle. C. In triangle XYZ, YL is an altitude in the exterior of the triangle. A. In triangle ABC, BE is a median. So we have to draw a rough sketch. That is, you don't have to draw it very accurately. You just have to get an idea. So this is your required ABC triangle. You can construct any triangle for this matter. And now, recall what is a median. A median is a line segment that joins from one vertex to the middle of the opposite side. As the statement says, first of all, we have to select a side. In this case, we selected side AC and we roughly estimated its center. This means that these line segments AE and EC are equal. These are used to depict in geometry that line segments are equal. Now it is just a matter to connect this center point E. We name this point as E to connect it to the opposite vertex P. Similarly, you can draw from the center of line segment AB to opposite vertex C. We named it E because the question was asking for the same. BE is a median. So that is your required solution for your A part. B. In triangle PQR, PQ and PR are altitudes of the triangle. Well, one thing must strike in your mind that only for right angle triangle we'll have two altitudes. That is also the sides. Therefore, first of all, do not name these. Just make two triangles. So you made two triangles, that also right angle triangle. What is a right angle triangle? Where one angle is 90 degrees. So we constructed them. Now these color codings are as follows. This red is your PR. Now we have just placed this triangle in other orientation. This side is now the base. This is your perpendicular and this is the longest side. Now you have to name these vertices. So PQ, in one triangle PQ should be the altitude and in another PR. So that's why we write the names now. One is PR, another is PQ. So what we get from this idea that right angled vertex should be named as P. Then only we'll be able to make these two altitudes with these names. This is a single triangle, just we have shown it in two orientations in order to make the things clear to understand. So that is your B part. C. In triangle XYZ, YL is an altitude in the exterior of a triangle. So this is only possible in case of obtuse angled triangle. So this is your obtuse angled triangle where one angle is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degrees. Now if you try to draw an altitude, what is an altitude? A line segment joining one vertex perpendicularly toward its opposite side. So we draw the altitude from Y to XC. We cannot draw here because then our criteria will not match. That is, it must be 90 degrees. Therefore, this line segment has to be joined in the exterior of a triangle. This is the interior of the triangle, these points, because these points are surrounded within this triangle, whereas this point where it gets connected is outside and that's what question was asking for yl we name it yl is an altitude in the exterior of a triangle so this is your question number second question third verify by drawing a diagram if the median and altitude of an isosceles triangle can be same this is your required isosceles triangle so if you remember what is an isosceles triangle a triangle which has two sides common. In this case, these two sides are common, represented by these two dashes. This means that these two sides are equal. And another property of an isosceles triangle is that their base angles, these are base angles, are also equal. Whereas this vertex angle is not equal. Now when we draw the median and altitudes of an isosceles triangle, we observe that the perpendicular bisector this is the perpendicular bisector. You have learned in your geometrical ideas chapter in previous class that how to construct a perpendicular bisector. 
of a line segment and its angle bisector and median and altitude from the vertex angle this is your vertex angle are all the same segment we can conclude this that median and altitude in case of isosceles triangle are same and in order to prove it mathematically we can say that what is the definition of altitude it is the shortest distance or the perpendicular line segment drawn from one vertex towards the other side the important criteria is that it must be perpendicular so this is your first altitude and what is median median is drawn from the center of the side towards its opposite vertex whereas this is center because it is perpendicular bisector a perpendicular bisector is a line segment that divides the line in two equal halves therefore we have two same lines that is of median and altitude hence proof so that was the last question question number 3